So um, we as adults uh, say a lot, whether it's out loud or on social media, and when it comes to a lot of people, what is coming out of their mouth, uh, it's not too well thought out. Sometimes it is simply not nice. But hey, who's listening anyway, right? Oh, I'll tell you who's listening. The generation behind us. Listen to this. When I was taught to respect my peers and authority, but adults have gone bananas. There's no more respect of people. No more respect. That's what she said. That's the opinion yeah. of a few of our youth, and they're pointing the finger at us the adults and you've got to agree they have a point so joining us today to provide some more insight on that thought are Kamar Yarns, Nakaya Ivy, and Demetria Leonard, all of Salisbury. Thank you, ladies, for joining us this okay. afternoon on Delmarva Live. Okay, so you guys, we just saw that video there. Whose idea was it to make the video? Us. Ours. It was ours. yours. Mm. Yeah. Why? Because when we go around, we hear a whole lot of people talking about the president, but it's just not about him, it's about everybody. That's, ooh. Mm -hmm. Get ready for this, because the next few minutes are really going to take you by <laughs> surprise. Okay, so let me ask you this. When you look at adults in general, as grown-ups, what do you see? Mm -mm. When it comes to respect, we oh. see them having selective response of respect. Selective respect. What, what do you mean by that? Why selective respect? Because they pick and choose who they should re, um, respect. Really? That's not good, is it? Mm -mm. Demetria, tell me about um, <laughs> how, you know, they made the video. Mm -hmm. And, and you were actually listening to them talk. They asked you about this. T tell us about that conversation. I was, I was sit we was all sitting down at my house and normally we'd go and we'd bake cupcakes and I'd teach them how to cook too. So it was bacon and they said, um, elect lady, why do we have to respect the adults and the adults don't respect others? And I looked at them and it, it baffled me for a minute because I didn't have a, a response to it. They said, everywhere we go, we see people talking about the president and we was taught to respect those in, that have rule over us and pray for them. And I just looked at them because it had me like, okay. Mm -hmm. So I was, um, then they asked, could they write the president? I was like, go ahead. Um, they wanted to put together a video to raise awareness like look this is just not about us as adults it's about the kids too because they see this mm -hmm. and I I don't think it's right because they should have a choice to um, this that should be their choice and not ours or us putting it <coughs> on them and it's a form of bullying to me right because that is our president and I teach them to pray for those and I think it's important that we point out that your relationship to them is through the church. You have a youth group? Yes, mm -hmm. it's called in-house silence. And what is, it means something is going on in the house that prohibits you to speak. And sometimes that thing that is going on in the house is fear. So these young ladies, they, they're they very powerful. They want to let adults know that it is not right. Even though we teach the kids, not to um, talk about each other and not to call each other names. And they can tell you their self. Everywhere they go, they hear it. Mm. They're not seeing it from the adults. Now, you, you are their godmother mm -hmm. and, and producer for their, for their videos? For their right? show, okay, yes. Okay, so you guys actually wrote the president? Yes. What happened? Did he, did he write back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what did he say? say? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking to meet you for that one. Okay, um, he let us know that he's supporting our youth. There, um, that he's his main thing is to support our youth and to lift our youth up, and that is his number one goal. And that he is going to do everything to um, help us. We're looking to go to the White House and pray for him. Ah, mm -hmm. that's huge. 
That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that response. And, and you want to make this clear. This is not a political thing. This is No, not I'm not thing. Republic nor Democrat. This is, this is a human thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's moral. Like if I tell you not to do something, it actually contradicts itself. Because if I tell you not to do something and I'm doing it, it's just not right. And the kids let me know that. So I had to take a look at myself. No, I don't talk about the president because I don't know the man. Right. So... I had to take a look at myself and how I was responding or how I'm acting because the kids are looking, they're watching to see what we're doing. Yeah. Mm. So. So, Kamara Nakaya, what do you want people to take away from the video that you made? What do you want them to learn from? What do you want? What do you want them to get? That you should not have selective response and you should love the president just for who he is. So treat everybody with respect. Mm -hmm. Regardless. All right. <laughs> you guys are absolutely incredible. <coughs> Kamara, Nakia. Thank you so much. Demetra, thank, thank you so thank much you. for coming in and, and spreading a message I think we all need yeah. to hear. Now, we're going to go ahead and post that video in its entirety on DelmarvaLife.com so you can see the whole thing.